Okay, you guys, are you ready? It's amazing what we can do when we put our minds to stuff. Even if we're not a decorator. I'm just saying, you guys, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's amazing what we can do when we put our minds to something. welcome back to my channel it's been about five months five months five months since I last did a video and I'm really 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 sorry I'm super excited to be back and to see 10,000 subscribers oh my gosh 10,000 subscribers later Wow today we are going to attempt to redesign my wardrobe now my wardrobe isn't it isn't the actual closet the this is the closet here and that's a closet but that is a wardrobe and that is a wardrobe. Here, take a look. Let me show you the before. Okay, you guys, here's my little secret closet wardrobe, AKA situation. I used to have clothes in here, but I took them down and I decided to just use this as storage for all my costume jewelry, as well as my sunglasses, everything that I could pretty much throw in here I pretty much did when it came to my accessories I even tried to use you know cake plates to decorate it um, but it just didn't help it comes with eight drawers which I really really love the storage space in my room it has like amazing storage up top and in the other wardrobe closet that I was speaking to you about earlier love the space but there needs to be some organization to this and I even tried to add a mirror in the back. Can you believe that? I don't know how I think I'm gonna see myself, but there's nowhere for me to store anything. So we need to make this over. I'm gonna purchase the Ikea shelf that I want as well as purchase the drawer that I want. I wanna see how they built it so that I can try to mimic it, if that makes sense. I have no idea if this is actually gonna work, but if it does, I will have an, an amazing wardrobe after. If it doesn't, at least I tried, right? I really, really want that aesthetic in my closet that most girls have on Instagram with that um, that whole white drawer with the glass top. And you know, I, I really want that. And and I've got the space, I just don't have the, I just don't have the drawer and I don't have the glass shelf and all the cute stuff. So let's go shopping and see if we can build it on our own.
are back. We've got all of our materials. We are about to glue this drawer together. We've got our sliders, we've got our sides, we've got our front, and we've got our long back piece. We're also gonna need some E6000 and liquid nails. I used the liquid nails, but it wasn't as strong enough the night before, so I went back and added some E6000 that's always reliable. And I also got some brad nails, which I didn't actually use, but you know, I just kept them on hand just in case I did need them. So now we're going to glue all of these together and we're going to use some of that fabulous blue tape. You're going to need blue tape as well, unless you have a clamp to clamp your drawer together. If you don't, you might want to tape all four sides of your corner when you add the glue so that it will hold in place. I would highly recommend you gluing your drawer and leaving it overnight to dry. Do not try to rush the process because it will not work. And yes, you can add the brad nails if you want a stronger hole, but I just thought it was a cleaner look with really secure glue and some caulk. So if you have caulk that you, you know, can use, then use the caulk because I went back and added caulk the next day to my corners and along the edges inside the drawer. The caulk adds a more seamless look. You guys, I can't believe I'm actually building a drawer. I have never built a drawer before in my life. I had no idea it was actually gonna work. Now we're gonna put the sliders on the sides of the drawer and onto the wall. This is pretty simple. They come with a uh, cabinet right, see, you see the letter CR, and then cabinet left. So you pretty much can figure out where to attach them on the drawer and on the wall. So make sure you attach them to the front part of the drawer, not the back because that's what the instructions say, and I also watched a YouTube video on this. So uh, yeah, just attach them to the front part, screw them down, it's pretty simple, and then just stick them inside the slats inside your closet. Pretty, it's pretty simple. You can pretty much put your screws anywhere on the, the sliders. I actually put mine on the bottom because if I put them on the sides of the drawer, I noticed that it bumped into the, the screws that actually held the slider part in the wall those two clashed, like they bumped into each other. In order for my drawer to slide in and out evenly, I had to build out my wall by adding a piece of wood to it, and then I attached the wall slider. Now I have to creatively figure out how to hide this thermostat, as well as rip out the closet pole and the surrounding frame, and lastly, creatively figure out a way to disguise the fuse box. So let's add some sanding, and then add some molding, Start painting. So now let's take a peek at this Ikea glass shelf that I purchased. I want to see what it looks like so that I know what I'm kind of sort of wanting to do with my glass shelf and see if we can try to build one on our own. Let's get started. I went back to Lowe's to purchase these long cubed sticks and I'm gonna take them and glue them to the original pine sticks that I got earlier in the video. I'm gluing them to all four sides. So if you think about it as a rectangle, you're gonna glue this to all four sides of your rectangle. Just be sure to measure your shelf first before gluing the sticks so that you'll know what size you need. The cubed sticks are gonna add as a way to support the glass on your shelf. If you notice, the glass will sit on top of that cubed stick. So we're gonna E6000 this, and we are gonna glue these together with E6000, and that's how the glass is gonna be supported. I borrowed a piece of glass from a picture frame to make sure that it would sit correctly, but just make sure your cubed stick is glued to the left side or the right side of your wood frame. I glued these sticks with E6000 and let them dry. I also added some caulk to it and then I used the blue tape and let it sit overnight. Now it's time to add some paint. Just so you know, I forgot to mention, I painted the drawer a semi-gloss and painted the walls a flat. So earlier you saw the bucket of paint, it was flat. And I also painted the molding a semi-gloss as well. Now let's take a road trip to get someone to cut our glass shelves.
And I just want to send a shout out to all the people on Instagram that came from Instagram, that came from YouTube, that went back and forth. I just want to say, sending you guys lots of love and all the new subscribers. Speaking of subscribing, if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I do upload a new video. And I promise you, it will not be five months. Mm -mm. It won't be five months. It won't. <laughs> I promise. And that's it, you guys. All the products used in this video will be in the description area below this video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Keep the conversation going by leaving a comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.